thanks for joining me on another episode of Walking Delicious. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers! So in celebration of this milestone, I thought I would make you guys a wrap. Vietnamese rice paper wraps, that is. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make two different versions. One with chicken and avocado, and the other one the traditional way, with pork and shrimp. And then I'm going to show you not one, but two different dipping sauces. So, without further ado, let's get started. So this is the lovely array of ingredients that you'll be needing for today. Okay, so before we start assembling our wraps, I'm going to show you how to make two of the dipping sauces. The first dipping sauce is a peanut satay. So first of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need um, three parts hoisin sauce to one part peanut butter. You'll need one cup of vinegar to balance out the flavour. You'll need some cornstarch with some water and also a bit of garlic. So you're going to turn on your pot onto a medium high heat. To that add a bit of olive oil. Then you're going to add in your garlic. So when you hear that beautiful sizzling sound, what you're going to do is add in your hoisin sauce. And then give that a mix. Then you're going to add in your peanut butter and combine the two. And allow both mixtures to come, come together nicely. Now you're going to add in your cornstarch and water and what this is going to do is really thicken up the mixture. So once the mixture has come together and gone to this beautiful brown colour um, and gelatinous texture, that's when you know you're done and you're ready to serve. For the second sauce we're going to be making the mum jam, which is a traditional Vietnamese dipping sauce. So what you'll need is equal parts water to equal parts sugar and equal parts fish sauce. You also need some lemon juice and also some chili. So pour in your sugar and then pour in your water and mix that until all the sugar has dissolved. Then add in your fish sauce and add in your lemon juice and then finally add in just a little bit of chili. Okay guys, so we've made our two delicious dipping sauces and now it's time for the fun part, to assemble our rice paper rolls. So let's get started. Now what you need to do is you need to get your rice paper rolls and dip it into some water so that it is nice and pliable. First thing you're going to put down is your vermicelli noodles. Now these vermicelli noodles usually follow what it says on the packet instructions. Usually it's about 8 minutes um, in boiling water until it becomes nice and cooked. So place that down first. So what we've got here is some lettuce. Next we're going to put on some cucumber. And then we've got some lovely carrot. Okay, now I'm going to put on some Vietnamese herbs. You may recognise these from a previous videos. You've got your beautiful perilla leaves and your mint. All this is beautiful, fresh from the garden. And then here what we've got is some Vietnamese mint. And next what we're going to put on is our pork. So, I've just boiled this pork in some water, just so that it is cooked. And sliced it thinly. So we have pork. And then the traditional Vietnamese also calls for some prawns. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, this is how we're going to fold it. Okay. So make sure that the filling part is closest to you. Then what you're going to do is fold it like that, just so that it's wrapped in the middle. Hold it nice and tightly. Then each side, tuck it in, like so and then continue to roll nice and tightly. And there you go, there's your first rice spring wrap. The wrap is a chicken and avocado combo. Now this isn't traditionally used, but the thing I love the most about rice paper rolls 
is the fact that it is so versatile. So if you want, if you have different herbs in your house, you can definitely play with that um, and play around with different combinations because it tastes really good. So just again with our delicious herbs. And I've got some beautiful vibrant carrots. Now what we're going to do is we're going to layer on some avocado. Which is a bit fiddly, but it is so worth it. And then we've got some chicken breast. And this is a nice healthy alternative as well. Well, they're all healthy really. Okay, and then again, nice and tightly. Wrap your wraps, tuck in both corners, and then continue to wrap. Like so. Ta -da! Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Walking Delicious, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and you give it a go. And if you do give it a go, please let me know in the comments below. I'll put the recipe in the description box. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more recipes, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys! Together by folding it in and look at that. The colour to me is just amazing.